So after my video yesterday, I had somebody contact me who was concerned that because they have a young family that they might be getting left behind on their ascension journey. So the main thing to remember is that spiritual practice is not about sitting cross-legged once or twice a day on a cushion and meditating. Yes, that's an important aspect of spiritual development, but spiritual practice is actually how you live your life in each and every moment. Spiritual practice is about connecting to the love of God through opening your heart and then going about your day whilst staying in the moment. Meditation means staying in the moment. It means connecting to the actual essence of everything that you're doing. So whilst you're walking through the park with your dog, instead of allowing your mind to just wander all over the place and worry about everything you have to do once you return back to the house, Instead, you can start to connect all your senses to the present moment. So you can start to look at the greenery around you. You can start to take in the smells of the fresh air and the smells of the freshly cut grass. You can turn your footsteps into a mantra you can say in your mind, I am walking. I am at peace. One foot in front of the other. One step at a time. And as you connect to the present moment, you're actually doing meditation in action. And this is called mindfulness. And so you can build this concept into your entire day. So when you're washing up, you can engage all your senses into the present moment by feeling the warmth of the water on your hands, listening to the sounds of the water as it fills the basin listening to the sounds of the cutlery as it tinkles and you can just keep your mind on the activity by again saying a mantra I am at peace I am washing up I stay in the moment I am peaceful And the great thing about small children and family life is that small children are only concerned about the present moment. They have no concept of having to wait. Children just are in the moment. They need instant gratification and attention at all times. And this, if you look at it, from the perspective of spiritual development is a great gift because whilst you are concentrating on keeping your children happy and content in the current moment you can bring all your senses into your open-hearted space and you can make your practice of motherhood part of a spiritual experience. So when you're colouring or reading a book or playing with your children, really engage in the activity, really bring your thoughts and your feelings and your senses to that moment. And when you connect to that moment, when you have your heart open, you are connecting to the breath of God. And when you're connected 
to the breath of God. You are connected to your spiritual essence. And whilst you're connected to your spiritual essence, you're making spiritual progress. So don't think that spiritual progress is only made whilst you're meditating on a cushion once a day. Spiritual practice is a life in spiritual essence. Spiritual practice is a way of life, a way of being, a way of thinking. It's not a one-time event once a week on a Sunday. It's not a one-time event each morning or each evening. Spirituality is you. It's the entire essence of your being. It's about opening your heart and staying in the moment with all of your senses. And when you feel like you're coming out of that space, when life starts to feel like it's getting very fast, just stop. Just stop for a moment. Come back to your breathing. Just take a moment, come back to your breathing. And then begin again. But begin again from your heart center, not from your mind. Don't let your mind dictate the pace because when you get into your mind and your thoughts, you end up worrying about everything that's coming up in the future that you need to do. Or you find yourself worrying about something from the past that you feel you could have done differently. And the idea of spiritual practice is to release the past not to worry about the future because the future will unfold perfectly from the energies that you are now creating today in this moment. So if in this moment you are creating thoughts of happiness and peacefulness and contentment, then in the future you will receive happiness and contentment and peacefulness. Everything we are creating now is what we are creating for the future. So make your family your spiritual practice. Make your life your spiritual practice. Just every morning, wake up with the intention that today I am going to continue my spiritual practice. Then just take a breath, open your heart, connect to your God, and then just go one step at a time whilst engaging all your senses Make sure that you're listening. Make sure that you're smelling your life, that you're seeing your life, that you're hearing your life, that you're feeling your life. When you engage all of your senses, you are in spiritual practice. Life is your spiritual work. Life is your spiritual practice. Blessings, love and light.